What's up guys, I Apple Tuber here and in today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get backups for your devices, transfer files, your music as simple as one click. All you need to have is a computer, your iPhone and your charging cable that you just use to charge your device, that cable and you're good to go. Get all that is needed and let's get started. All right, so as you can see right now, we are on the Dear Mob iPhone Manager. So this is a software that I'm gonna use for today's video. Let me quickly give you an introduction to the software and how it works. Let's get started. So as you can see, as I mentioned in the video as well, it's an iPhone Manager. That means it can have backup, it can transfer files. Very simple, one click. So as you can see, it says it's fast, even large, but it only takes few seconds. And the best part about it is that you do not actually need iTunes. So getting backup, is also simple, no iTunes needed. I'll leave this in the description for you all so you can go ahead and read this before you actually download the software. But the most important thing right now for me is to just tell you that this software works for both Windows and Mac and that you can download the trial first, try it out. If you liked it, then buy it. Now, let me get to the software. All right, once you, in, once you open the software, you download it, you just open it, you make sure first you connect your device to the computer so you will Notice that it says not connected. Now I have connected it. It's going to check for updates and then it's going to show. Okay, as you can see, it just says coupon. Just click on cancel and it should start to say that it's actually connected. Give it a second. If, it, if, there, if you see anything like this, trust this computer. You just need to click trust on your devices. Enter your passcode and then it's trusted and it will open. Click on OK. And there, as you can see, it's my iPhone right now being recognized. So here, as you can see, photo transfer, music manager, video backup files. Let's start with backup. So once you click on backup, it will ask you, backup your device, restore backup files. All you want to do is just click on backup now. One click. So then you want to click on OK. And there you go. It says, do not shut your computer. Connect your device. Make sure your device doesn't turn off. And this will backup. Right now, I'm backing up my device. This blue bar is going to fill up. It's been like not even one minute and this is halfway done. This is super fast. Like this is actually crazy to me because when I say, when I use iTunes, it usually takes me like five or six minutes for my device. If this actually takes me only one minute, this is insane. Let's just give it a few seconds and see if this actually completely backups my device or not. Let's just find out. And there you go. It actually took me around one and a half minute. This was actually very quick. I'm actually amazed. There you go, as you can see, it says backup completed. All right, so once you backup and it's finished, very simply, I want to tell you about the restore backup file. So this is very important. So once you go here, you might have a lot of backup. So let's say you just backed up your iPhone, you finish backing it up, it's gonna show your iPhone. So what's the purpose of the restoring backup files? It will transfer all your data, contacts, files, everything to your new iPhone. So this is very important feature about this, which allows you to directly send those backup restore to your new device. So I do want you guys to also know about this feature. So let's get back to the other features. So now let me just click on the music manager just to show you. So since I don't have any music on my device, so if you wanna add music, you can click on this and it will ask you to transfer. Like you add music, you click on it, it will ask you to take it from the part on your computer. Let's say it's in your desktop, you just, it will open that folder, you just click on whatever you want and it will send it to your device. Or as I mentioned once again, if you have a lot of songs on your device, you can transfer it to your computer to open up space. And the same goes for the photo transfer. So yes guys, that was it with today's video. I hope that you actually did enjoy this video. Make sure to check this software out and also please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Much more content dropping very soon. I Apple Tuber here, signing off.